Hey guys, Paul here at Rapids. The single largest category in commercial refrigeration in the restaurant industry is the reach-in refrigerator. Today I want to talk to you about the Volition VR and VF series reach-in refrigerators. We have two door units that are 49 cubic feet inside like this one. And then there's also the 23 cubic foot single door refrigerators and freezers that are going to be half this size. They pull from the left side to the right. So imagine this thing cut in half. These things have been designed and engineered for heavy duty commercial use. And we find that in all sorts of ways. First off, we notice that again, like most of Volition line, we're almost entirely made out of stainless steel. The sides, the doors, the top plate here, the grill, all of this is made out of stainless steel on the exterior. The box has two inch foamed in place polyurethane insulation throughout it. Not only does that make it structurally very, very sound and strong, but it's also going to help uh, prevent heat loss inside the box or your cooling going out because of that really thick, good insulation. Okay, so let's take the tour. On the outside of the unit, notice we have cylinder door locks. You'll get one for each door and the keys are absolutely included. The handle is the standard pocket recessed handle from Volition that has a really good firm grip all the way around. It's easy to pull, it's easy to open. This is an electronic display um, uh, controller that, uh, you know, more on that thing in a bit. First, let's take a peek inside, okay? So opening up the doors here, we're going to find that they stay open at 120 degrees. This is going to make it easier for you guys when it comes to loading products. You can take a stack of boxes, put it here, doors open, I'm trying to get in this side, I can open it and I don't have to worry about holding it open with my, with my tush. I can just take stuff and put it in there very easily. The doors themselves have this rubber gasket. This is a magnetic compression gasket with a barb style insert. So it's very easy to replace this thing. That alarm is signifying that the door is open. You look up on the display panel here, it also shows me that the door is open. It's gonna remind you every once in a while that you left the thing open so you don't lose all your cooling. While we're on that topic, I might mention that when the doors are open, the light turns on. This is a complex, compact fluorescent bulb inside here inside this cover so the light turns on and the fans turn off okay that's important because when the doors are open you don't want it to push all your cold air out the main power switch is right here I'm going to turn this thing off so we don't have to listen to that alarm anymore okay but that's going to actually turn off the cooling unit but obviously the lights remains on okay so back to these doors, notice that we have stainless steel on the interior door liner too. That's uncommon for commercial refrigeration. A lot of people will actually cut corners, cut costs, cut expense by using plastic or aluminum. Not volition. Stainless steel on the door liners, the sides of the unit, the back, the floor, everything inside is stainless steel including the blower housing. Take a peek at this mullion. This mullion also is 2 inch foamed in place polyurethane. That's a big deal. A lot of manufacturers will cut some cost here too by using a foam board instead, maybe not as thick. The door frames themselves have a perimeter door heater on it. That's going to prevent condensation, especially in high humidity areas or uh, humid times of year. So you don't have to worry about all the condensation building up. That's available on both the refrigerators and the freezers. Okay, so looking at the shelves, you're going to get kits for two shelves per door with each of the units come standard. And they're adjustable on these little clips in half inch increments on these pilasters. If you require more shelving because you have, you know, lower profile product you want to pack in there, accessory door uh, or shelf kits are absolutely available for purchase. In the back of the unit, take a look at this. This is a product guard. This prevents a user or operator from overstuffing the refrigerator and preventing smooth airflow. The way the refrigerators work is cold air comes in and it wants to circulate around the product. So it comes down, comes to the front and circles around like that. If you have product, product stacked all the way to the back of the unit, it's going to prevent airflow behind it. So the air, cold air is going to come down, hit product, go right back up and it's going to short cycle. And so that's going to make the refrigerator run uh, more frequently and not hold its temperature nearly as well. Okay. So what else can I tell you about it? Well, that's, that's the majority of the, the interior here. 
Uh, let's go back and talk a little bit more about this controller. The controller is pretty neat. Notice right away that it shows you the, the, the current temperature that you're running at. Now obviously we're at a high temperature because I've had the doors open for a while. This little light right here indicates that the uh, unit is actually physically running. So if there's a problem with the unit, it's not powered up, it's become unplugged, uh, you won't see that uh, little uh, display there of uh, green lights flashing at you. This up here lets me know that the, compress the compressor is currently running pulling down the temperature. So you can set the display in either degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius if you prefer. Also on the refrigeration units, every six months, an alarm's gonna go off, similar to that door open alarm, okay? And it's to remind you to clean your condenser, okay? So you'll see a CL displayed there, and it's a reminder to clean the condenser. We recommend that you clean your condenser maybe every two to three months, depending on the volume and how dirty your place gets, okay? But in the event that you forget, you keep pushing it back, you're not checking your calendar, this thing's gonna straight up remind you that it's time to clean it. Now there's a little reminder underneath the controller here, there's a sticker on the bottom that tells you how to reset your condenser cleaning alarm. All you do is you hold mode and you hold verify here for a couple of seconds, I think five seconds and it'll reset. And then six months later, it's gonna go off. Now what I recommend you do is when you first plug this thing in, you're going to want to reset that condenser right away. Okay? Otherwise, who knows the first time it'll go off because we don't know how long it took to get to your establishment before you got it actually installed, especially on a new build. So right away you want to plug it in there, reset that uh, condenser cleaning alarm. Now condensers, it's a big deal to clean these things, right? Because how refrigerators work is they don't actually create cold. What they do is they remove the presence of heat, thus making the cavity cold. And they do that by taking and pushing that heat through the condenser. And there's a fan that actually spins and that fan can, well, it's gonna grab anything you got floating around in your kitchen and that can be like flour as well as grease and some of this other stuff and gum up that condenser, making it harder for it to dissipate that heat from out of the box and making it run efficiently. So when you clean the condenser, it's easy, easy to do. You got two sets of screws on each side of this grill and it's gonna lift right off. And then you can brush it off or use a vacuum to get any dust bunnies out of it. Uh, in event that you got you know, more grease because that's the way your, con you know, your kitchen operates, uh, you might wanna use a condenser cleaner chemical. Uh, we sell a spray that you can apply to that and that'll dissipate that grease. So that's super simple to do. Now, on the freezer units, they also have an automatic defroster controlled by the controller here. Now, the defroster is going to go off. It's set to operate four times a day, and it's, it's time initiated and temperature terminated. And you can actually set the times that you want this thing to go into defrost mode. It's not a bad idea to do that right away on your initial setup so you know that the thing isn't going to go into a defrost mode during the peak time. Um, also, the freezers have a, a rapid pull down uh, function. So, you know, a lot of times we get stuff off the truck or we're transferring it from a walk in and it might sit a little bit before we can, before we can get to packing it into the freezer and it may start to thaw a little bit just, you know, hanging out here. So you can turn it into rapid pull down mode right away and the refrigeration is going to run at 100% uh, until it pulls that stuff back down to 10. So, so that's a neat option. Uh, also notice that we do have these four inch casters. These are stem casters. Uh, they are included with the purchase. Two of them are locking casters. Highly recommend you put the locking ones on the front of your unit. Uh, so once you move it into position, it's easy to lock it into place instead of trying to dig your foot around to the back. Um, locking them into place uh, makes sense because with the door opening and closing and shoveling boxes, they can move a little bit. Uh, but to then move, move it out to, to clean you know, the floor underneath, uh, it's very simple on these four inch clusters, you got really smooth movement. Okay, so let's tell, uh, talk about what? Let's talk about listings. Okay, so we have uh, ETL certification, UL listings, and um, NSF food uh, uh, approvals uh, for open product actually, as well as packaged goods. So Energy Star, ETL, UL, NSF uh, for open food product, yeah? 
I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell you about. Oh, we should probably talk about warranty information. These things are backed by a one-year parts and labor warranty with five years on the compressor. But uh, you can purchase as an accessory extended warranties if you, if you want to prolong that warranty. Yeah, so these are the, the Volition line of reach-in refrigerators and freezers. And, um, you know, they, they have the feature sets in the construction of a high-end reach-in refrigerator, but at a much more economical cost. So I think they're going to be huge in the market.